Insight Lighting Analysis with Revit provide in-context daylighting and lighting analysis results to help you document light level throughout your design. There are a few things to verify before performing your lighting analysis. First, make sure to use a schematic or detailed model with rooms specified in the model. A conceptual mass model will not work. And make sure to log in your F360 account as Revit will need to access your account to complete the analysis. Note that it's not necessary to generate an insight before performing lightning analysis, but you need to set the location for your model. You can also define surface reflectivity and glazing material property for more accurate results. You can find more information in the Insight Lighting Analysis help documentation. Finally, make sure you have purchased or are ready to spend cloud credits as lightning analysis consume cloud credits. Click on the lighting icon. It opens a pop-up window with best practices for a lightning analysis workflow. It is recommended, but not necessary, that you review these links to ensure the best results. Click on Continue. In the Lighting Analysis in the Cloud dialog box, you have the option to run a new analysis or recall previously saved results. Choose Run New Analysis and Go. The next dialog box will allow you to control your study settings. The Analysis Type settings lets you select different types of studies, such as lead or customized studies. You can follow this link for a description of each study types. For this video, we will use Illuminance Analysis Study Type. Then, you need to select the level or levels for which you want this analysis to be done. To select multiple levels, hold down Shift, select the levels, and then click outside of the drop-down menu. For this video, we will select only Level 1 Entry Level. If you have selected Illuminance Analysis or Solar Access at the Study Type, you can control the Environment Settings. For other types, the environment settings are set and include data you previously entered, such as a location or a time range. Additional settings include Sky Model, which you can read more about in the Insight Lightning Analysis help documentation. You can specify the dates and time you wish to study, and you can either specify your own solar insulation data or use the weather data. For the purpose of this video, We'll leave the default setting in place. Below are the Illuminance settings, which are automatically populated based on lead criteria, but they can also be manually controlled for Illuminance analysis and solar access studies. And you can set different units too. Resolution includes two different analysis grid size, a 22-inch grid and a 12-inch grid. The resolution will affect cloud credit cost. For this video, will select 72 inch, which will consume fewer cloud credits. Click on Check Price to assess your cloud credit usage. If you wish to receive an email notification where your analysis is complete, you can also check the box. Then click on Start Analysis to begin the simulation. The pop-up window will notify you that your analysis has been uploaded and running. You can click OK and keep working while your analysis run in the clouds. Revit will notify you once the results are ready. Accept the cloud credit charge at this point. It is recommended you also save the project after accepting the charges, so you'll be able to recall the lightning analysis results after exiting Revit. Click on Accept, Update and Save Project. To access the result, click on the Lighting icon in the Insight panel in the Analyze tab. In the Lighting in the Cloud window, instead of running a new analysis, select the results of the analysis you just run. The drop-down menu will list all available analysis results. The analysis denoted with a star identifies the most recent set of results that were populated in the Revit model. This is important to indicate because it means that these are the results that are stored in the Revit model. Results are automatically generated for 2D floor plans, 3D views, and schedule. For more details about managing results, refer to the Insight Lining Analysis help documentation. You can also view the 2D results on the floor plans by navigating to floor plans in the Revit browser. Open your Lighting Analysis model view 
which always starts with underscore lighting. For most study types, multiple results are available. To change between the results, select the analysis plan and change the analysis configuration in the property panel. You can change the analysis display styles by clicking on the graphics section of the property browser and choose default analysis display. You can choose another style or customize your own. You can edit the legend and change the unit on the legend by navigating to the graphics section on the property browser and open the analysis display settings. To view the 3D results, navigate to 3D view in the project browser. The lightning analysis result name will be preceded with an underscore lightning analysis model view. In the 3D view properties, enable section box and set the view to crop the ceiling of the floor you wish to view. Room and floor parameters are used to generate schedule of the lighting results. Navigate to the schedules in the project browser. The results will be prefaced with underscore lighting analysis. In the custom analysis for this demonstration, we have both a floor schedule and a room schedule available. Note that not all lighting analysis types will generate both room and floor schedules. The schedule indicate the type of analysis and summarize the study settings. Results show the percentage of the area within the threshold by level included in the analysis. In this example, we only perform analysis for level 1. The room schedule shows the same data on the room-by-room -room basis. You can choose which room to include in the study as well. You can also render illuminance levels in 3D perspective views from Revit. To do so, from the View tab in Revit, select the Render in the Cloud icon. This will open a window summarizing the step-by-step. -step. You can click OK. Then the Render in the Cloud dialog box open and lets you select the setting you need. The 3D view that you like to use. You can select one or multiple, and in this case, you can select the balcony view. You can set the output image to illuminance and set the image size to small as the resolution of the output image will impact cloud credit cost. For the date and time, select to use settings from the 3D view selected by checking the Use Data from View box. If you wish to receive an email notification when the rendering is complete, you can check the box. And then you can click Start Rendering to begin the simulation. When the renderings are complete, you will receive a notification in Revit, as well as an email if you selected to receive one. From the View tab in Revit, Select the Render Gallery icon to access renderings or click on the email link you received. This will access the Render Gallery on your S360 account. You can see all your renderings image here. Click on the Balcony View thumbnail to expand the rendering image. From the drop-down button at the bottom right side of each image, you can also choose to download the render in image file or PDF. You can also decide to re-render an image using new settings. This will open a window in the A360 interface for you to quickly change the settings, such as the dates and time settings of your render, and re-generate the rendering. Now close the window and go back to your model.